A surprising phone call between President-elect Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin has raised eyebrows, hinting at a dramatic shift in US foreign policy regarding the Ukraine war. The Washington Post reported that during the conversation which took place at Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate, the president-elect urged Putin to scale down the conflict, signaling a potential opening for peace talks on the European continent. Both leaders reportedly discussed the war's resolution and Trump expressed interest in further discussions. However, Trump's mention of allowing Russia to retain the land it has seized in Ukraine has already sparked controversy. Ukrainian officials were not informed of the call in advance, with Foreign Ministry spokesperson Hyohi Tiki calling such reports false. Despite this, sources familiar with the matter told The Post that Ukraine had long anticipated Trump's diplomatic efforts on the war. However, Zelensky expressed that a fast solution is unlikely to happen. Today, I believe that President Trump truly wants a fast solution. Wanting that doesn't mean it will be that way. I say this without accusation. I just say that we are where we are. We are at war with Russians. And it's a fact, this is the hardest enemy of this century. And I don't only talk about human rights here, surely, people are foremost important. I say that a person wants to tear Ukraine to pieces. And it's a big challenge because it's a very big country. Trump's communication director, Stephen Chung, refused to comment on the private call. But the timing of the conversation comes as President Joe Biden attempts to rally Congress for additional aid to Ukraine in his final days in office. Meanwhile, on the ground, the conflict rages on, with Ukrainian drones launching the largest attack on Moscow yet. 34 drones striking the Russian capital and injuring at least five people. Russia's defense ministry set it down 50 other drones in a series of counterattacks. As the battlefield intensifies, Trump's call could mark the beginning of a new chapter in the war, one that could force Ukraine to consider uncomfortable compromises, including the ceding of territory, an idea that Kyiv and its European allies have staunchly opposed. The next few weeks could determine whether Trump's promises of a quick resolution will come to fruition or if the conflict will continue to spiral, further destabilizing Europe.